Spiky and Bubbles, what are you two doing? We are watching a movie about the universe. It's so beautiful. Yes, the universe is fascinating. Scientists are always curious to know more about it. Did you know that we can observe the universe from the comfort of our own homes? What? How? Well, we can learn more about the planets, stars, and galaxies by using powerful telescopes. A telescope? A telescope is an amazing device that allows us to see distant objects. Very powerful telescopes can help us see even further away, giving us a closer look at planets and stars. One example of this is the Hubble telescope. When it orbits the Earth, we can see a detailed view of space. But how do telescopes allow us to see so far away? There are two basic types of telescopes, a refracting telescope and a reflecting telescope. The refracting telescope uses lenses, while the reflecting telescope uses mirrors. Let's take a closer look inside each telescope and find out how they work. Refracting telescopes contain two convex lenses. Convex lenses are thicker in the middle than they are at the edges. One lens is called the objective lens and the other is the eyepiece. They are both fixed in a long tube. Light comes in from a distant object, enters the objective lens, and refracts to a point called the principal focus. The eyepiece collects the light from the objective lens and creates a virtual image. This virtual image appears closer to our eyes than the real object, which is why it looks bigger than the object. This is how we see a magnified image of objects at a distance through a telescope. This is a reflecting telescope. It contains two mirrors. One is a small plane mirror, and the other is a concave mirror. A mirror that curves inwards is called a concave mirror. Light comes in from a distant object, then hits the curved surface of the mirror and is reflected towards the principal focus. However, there is a smaller plane mirror that directs the incoming light rays to the eyepiece. When we look through the eyepiece, we see a magnified image of the object. Oh, I want to look at the sun through the telescope. No, Spikey, you can't do that. We can go blind from looking directly at the sun. The light rays are too strong for our eyes. If you really want to see the sun, you must follow the following precautions. One. The sun cannot be looked at directly with the naked eye or any unfiltered devices such as binoculars or a telescope. To look at the sun, we can use a telescope or binoculars to project an image of the sun onto a white screen like this. If using binoculars, keep the cover on one of the tubes. Lastly, we should always wear sunglasses with special filters that are designed to protect our eyes while we view the sun. Now that we have gone through some precautionary measures, let's look up at the sun. Are you ready for a surprise? Come, have a look into space through this telescope. Isn't it amazing? Today we learned a telescope is a device used to see distant objects. There are two basic types of telescopes, refracting and reflecting telescopes. Refracting telescopes use lenses while reflecting telescopes use mirrors. While looking at the sun, we must take precautions to protect our eyes from its harmful rays.